Ryan from Adriana G35 on Instagram. I wanted to show you guys how to make your spec D URL uh, DRL bars look super bright even during the day. So if I turn off these layers I made here, you can see they immediately look uh, a lot dimmer. So I'm going to show you how I did that right now. So let's just zoom in. Let's hit the W key for magic wand right here and just select down. If it doesn't completely select on the first try, just hit the shift key and you'll get the little plus sign and just continue clicking inside in the areas where it didn't select. So looks like I've got that all. Let's do another zoom in over here. Hit the shift key again to add to your selection and let's get this DRL bar. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more and just make an edit to this one. So to um, subtract, so because we have some that we don't want. So let's grab the uh, polygon lasso. And first let's uh, just do a subtract by hitting um, option and then clicking and just making a selection around the area that you want to get rid of. And um, that's because it's uh, feathered. So if you bring your feather down to zero, you'll have a more accurate selection. So let's do that again. Um, looks like we can probably get rid of a little bit there. Um, maybe even actually adding a little bit. And it looks like I want to add a little bit right here as well that didn't get selected. And then I'm going to subtract right here. So now that I have the RLs selected the way I wanted, I'm just going to duplicate this layer. You can call it DRL. And then hit Command Shift I, and you'll see that inverted it. You can see the selections now uh, around the edges of the image. Click back on the DRL and just click Delete. And then hit Command D to deselect. If you turn off the background layer now, you'll see that the only thing there left on this layer is the DRL bar. So let's turn this back on. And uh, the next step is just we want to jack the whiteness all the way up so they look as bright as they can. So I'm going to go to Image Adjustments Exposure. And I'm just going to pull the exposure bar all the way up so they go completely white so you can see what happens if I go the other direction you know they're just gonna get darker so let's take another look at it from zero you can see just there's a little bit of dimness in here a little bit of dimness in some of these areas if we pull this all the way up they just get completely white so once that's done uh, we are going to duplicate this layer and call it DRL glow small and I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to do a 12. Then I'm going to click on the DRL layer again and duplicate it again. And I'm actually going to rename this one DRL Glow Large. And then I'm going to do Image Adjustments, sorry, Filter, Blur, Gaussian blur again, and this time instead of leaving it at 12, we're going to do a 24. So basically, all that did was just give it two different size variations of the glow one that's a little bit smaller right around the edges, and one that goes out a little bit further. So if you want, you can even make them look even brighter by duplicating and then they look even brighter. I happen to think that looks a little bit too bright for daytime. So let's delete that. And um, the other thing that you can do is you can mess around with the opacity. If you thought they look a little too bright, you can bring it down to maybe a 50 or like an 80%. Uh, so that's how you do that. And that is a super simple, quick way to make your 
DRL bars look way more awesome. Let me uh, just turn that off so you can just see that difference again. I mean, that just looks so much better. So you get that look kind of at night, you know, when the um, when the sun's starting to go down and stuff, or, or if you're like under a parking garage. But um, when you're out in the daytime, they look a little dim. So um, that's a good way to brighten them up during the day. So the last thing I wanted to show you was if you wanted to say you could you could do apply this to the uh, DRL bar, but I'm just going to do it here because my sign marker is off in this picture. And so you could go from being completely off to on like this as well. And I'm just going to show you how I would do that. I'm actually just going to duplicate this layer again and call it side marker. And then I'm just going to make a hand selection around this side marker here. So once I have that selected, I can do the um, Shift Command I again to invert it and then delete. So again, if I turn this off now, you can see that we just have the side marker there. So let's keep uh, clicked on that layer and do the image adjustments exposure again. And then you can just play with this exposure bar a little bit, you know, um, till it looks like it's on. Um, that's looking pretty good right there. Maybe a little bit less, something more like that. Let's zoom out. That looks better. Let's hit OK. And then let's go to image adjustments, hue and saturation, because a little bit of that, there's a little bit too much of that blue color coming through. You gotta just desaturate a little bit to get rid of that. I'd leave a little bit in, maybe a value of like 50, negative 50. Then I'm gonna duplicate it again. And I'm going to do image adjustments exposure again, and I'm going to go all the way to white. Hit OK and do filter, blur, Gaussian blur again, and a value of uh, maybe like 40 looks good for this one, maybe even a little less, 35. So I'm going to leave that one like that. I'm going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to put this one actually, it looks a little blown out like that, so I'm going to just put it under. So you can kind of still, you see what happens if I put it over, it's just kind of blocking out some of that detail. I'm going to put it back under the side marker. And um, so that's a that's a nice easy way to like turn the a light on if it's not on at all. So, you know, you could do this with your side markers, like I said, you could do this with your um, DRL bars, but... Let's take a look, oh, look. Oh, let's take a look at the image before and then after. And I think that is a super simple way to make your image uh, with your G35 and your DRLs or your side markers look a lot better um, just with a couple easy tricks. And then from there, maybe just adding a little bit of a, a filter on your Instagram and a little bit of a vignette and you're gonna have a pretty awesome image. So, yo know, guys, if you uh, you know, if you like this video, do me a favor, uh, give me a like on Instagram. It's Adriana underscore G35. This is my page right here. And then, um, uh, yeah, give me a, a sub on YouTube if uh, if you enjoyed the video. Thanks.